On a recent field trip, 24 sixth form students from the British West Indies Collegiate took a six-day trip to the United States to visit the capital, Washington, D.C., and the state of Pennsylvania. According to both the students and several attending teachers, the trip was educational in many different ways, exposing the children to famous historical sites, American culture, and weather that is very different than the tropical Turks and Caicos. It was the first time I got to see snow. We got to go outside and have a little mini snowball fight. People that wouldn't really consider it snow, it fell and quickly melted, but coming from the islands, that was a lot for us. Um, we got to go ice skating, something that I really enjoyed. I didn't even know how to rollerblade, but now I'm a professional skater. <laughs> it was really, really cold, but um, yeah, really, really, really cold. I'd never experienced stuff like that. But As for the historical landmarks, the students could not have been more excited as they saw for their own eyes things they felt they would only ever see on TV. These museums, normally you see them on TV, right? But you're never actually there to actually appreciate all the artifacts and things that are actually in real life. So we went to um, like the Air and Space Museum. We saw the history of um, airplanes and space technology in the U.S. from the Wright brothers up to now to the Boeings. Other museums visited included the Museum of Natural History, where the students marveled over prehistoric animals, and the Holocaust Museum, where they spoke to Holocaust survivors. Their trip included as well a trip to the White House and a trip to the famous location of Dr. Martin Luther's speech, I Have a Dream. This student told us about seeing the Gettysburg Address in Pennsylvania. Gettysburg was also interesting because it really was a turning point in U.S. history and it's also, um, it's also a landmark where civil rights civil rights was fought for. So it was, ni it was nice and it was interesting to see that this, the biggest, one of the bloodiest battles, the biggest battle in the U.S., you're able to see here, look and appreciate what the people they did for you. Three teachers accompanied the students on this trip. One was the principal, Sylvie Wigglesworth, who seemed taken away with the experience herself, but realized how beneficial it was to the children as well and it was meant to be a history, geography, and art field trip. Uh, we saw lots of museums, um, possibly the most interesting one where we could have spent a whole day was the Holocaust one. I'm a historian, so you know it has a, a major um, impact on me, and certainly the students do have to study the Holocaust within the syllabus at A-level, and also prior to A-level at IGCSE.